I'm Lionheart Blue, and welcome to another episode of my Scrap Mechanic Survival Series. So today, as I promised in my previous video, we're redoing this entire farm. Um, it's not working as I wanted, and I've been looking at other videos, so I'm going to have to steal someone else's idea. It's very, very similar to this. Um, major difference is that the, it doesn't use this this system at the top <clears throat> which I think is not working very well for me I think the ground is uneven and it's n the sensors aren't quite picking them up uh, quick enough and firing quick enough so it will use sensors on the ground and I think that seems to work much much better and I also believe that we're gonna go this way outwards across here and I can do it as wide as I want. I can expand it wider when I I, I get more more stuff, um, uh, more chests, etc. So um, I think that's the best option for now. So I'm going to move all my vehicles, and I'm thinking about putting a a, 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 a like a long stick of a column, sorry, a column of metal, and having them all welded there so they're out of the way. It does make it a bit difficult to, to get them down, but for now that'll be, be good to, to give me as much space as possible. And I'll then, once I've got them there, I'm going to rip all this up and start again. So, very sad to see this all go, but uh, like I said, it's not doing what I want. So, it's better that I redo it and move on. So, I'll time lapse this all because it's going to take me some time. And I will see you on the other end. Okay, so I've cleared a lot of it. I've got rid of all of this and I'm just trying to work out how I want to start, how wide I want to start it. And I'm thinking 10 wide to start with because maybe that will be enough. Um, but I'm having to move all this around. Uh, and I could, well, as I collect more, I could always extend it. I don't really need to go any wider. I think that's pretty big. It's pretty big enough. Um, my issue at the moment is placing these here that usually means that there's some blocks underneath the underneath the ground that are causing problems there so as you've seen me do many times probably I say many uh, once or twice I have to build a little thing to go underground so let's just do that now because I always find this interesting 
so you need to build a platform and stick a seat on it so that you've got something to sit on get on the seats go underground and I should be able to oh yeah look you can see those poles can I get out here yeah so I'm actually I know it looks like I'm in the water I'm actually under the ground at the moment so it's these poles that were in the way of that me placing those um, plots mud plots whatever they're called so I just check there's nothing else around I've got an awful lot of, of um, brick under here I think I'll pull some of this up don't think I need all of that under here it's often what happens when you sort of dragging and sometimes you drag you don't realize but you drag down as well you think you're placing one road no wonder I keep using up my material so quick there's another one here you see there's an extra block there that probably not required back on the seat and put yourself back up and now in theory I should be able to now place those plots yep and then I can carry on oh, moving all these along and then we'll get on with the rebuild okay so we're eight out by I mean out we're 10 wide and 14 long I think that's probably I mean I'd like to go up to 15 because I like to kind of 15 just seems more of a good finishing point but it doesn't really matter um, I'll probably extend it when I get more more plots from somewhere I don't think I've got any anywhere else just quickly check in my miscellaneous oh there's two more here uh, yeah so just the two I think which at least finish this row up oh. place that, that so I think we can start with that for now so let me just tidy this up and we can get going with the new farm so this needs to be cleared up as well so I gave it a bit of thought and rather than do a tutorial on this farm as it is an exact copy of Font's farm I think it's almost a bit naughty of me kind of taking not that I was taking credit but I guess having a video that's pretty much a duplicate of his hard work um, I think the best thing is if you want to learn how this this farms made um, is to watch his tutorial watch his video which I'm going to link here now so you can look in the top right hand corner of your screen and the card will appear um, so go and look at that it's very very good um, it's not very long so go and have a look see how I made this and then come back here and I'll explain a couple of little bits and we'll get cracking I'll demonstrate it
okay good so I hope that you went and had a look or at least you bookmarked it to go and have a look later so this is the farm as it stands uh, at the moment it's not set up to do harvesting only automatic planting and watering I want to extend it a little bit more but for now this is uh, this is uh, as far as it goes which is pretty good I think it's 14 so 14 by 10 so 140 plots which is good enough to start with um, and on if you watched fonts video you'll no, notice that um, obviously he was doing a a quick tutorial and he wasn't sort of necessarily trying to make it pretty um, and he had his special logic gates and buttons and things down down here uh, what I've done is I've created a little farm room uh, sorry control room for my farm so my water is in here and that's the logic system that turns the farm on I've got reset button if I want although it automatically resets itself um, and uh, I just wanted to keep it out of the way uh, I'm building a similar room for my gun and this system um, to move all this nonsense at the back in there but we'll get to that later uh, so as a quick explanation we have uh, five pistons on each side and they're connected to these logic gates and sensors so what happens is once you turn the farm on the the farm will turn the push the first pistons out to their full extent uh, and when this first sensor hits where the yeah the first sensor sees a block it will tell the next piston to push out and so on and so forth until we get to the last one this last block here which tells this sensor to turn off this the farming system so I can show you I don't think there's any oh there are seeds um, I'll tell you what we'll, we'll do it I, I, I'll we'll get seeds we'll fill it up and uh, let's see how it how it performs um, that will mean having quite a large raid and I wasn't entirely sure if I was ready for it but let's give it a go so I only need to fill the the first chest because the chests are connected in pairs of two so this this chest is connected to this chest this chest is connected to this chest and then etc and the tubes connect those pairs together so this pair is now connected to this pair with tubes so anything I put in the first chest will get uh, will, can get consumed by all of the chests all of the pumps connected to those chests so I need to make sure I've got at least 140 in here so that is 140 if I can do maths so I press the on button okay missed this one for some reason uh, I was testing earlier and I tested by fertilizing as well so it's fertilizing it fertilized a, a row so look, it's, it's much better than my previous farm and then that sees that block there and it returns the the farm to the beginning and it all turns off and that needs to be on so that button tells these under here you see it tells these pumps to collect water I need to put lights on as well because it's very dark so I'm gonna get raid in a minute and I think or in a minute in about three minutes four minutes and I think for 130 crops there's gonna be a fair amount of bots so what I might do quickly is take some of my metal and I'm going to fortify my defenses a little bit I'll come I'll see you when I've done that
Well, that's surprising. I expected a lot more than that. Great. Uh, I presume it's struggling to calculate something. Oh, are we done? No. It's like something out of bed knobs and broomsticks. Are we done? Thank you. I presume it's, it's something to do with... Because it only seemed to happen when the raid had finished. Yeah, so I'm struggling to, to get over the, the farm now, over the farm, over the wall. I expected that to be a much bigger raid. I guess it's only potatoes. I mean, you'd expect them to be a bit upset about potatoes, seeing as that's the ammo we use against them. Oh, didn't see you boys there. Okay, any component kits? There's one. Thank you very much. Uh, let's just put that there for now. And the other one's probably gone in the water. I'll gamma this up because I can't see anything at the moment. It's pitch black, really. Just about make make things out. So hopefully you'll you'll be able to see better than I can. So I think uh, everything stopped going crazy. I'm not sure how really you go about fixing that. It might just be the limits of my PC. Uh, and I'm going to die of hunger. So let me, have I got anything to eat on me? Don't want to use the sunshake, no. Let's go and get some food. Seeing as we've got a big farm now, we can we can start consuming some of this. Uh, let's eat four bananas. Or rather, let's take four bananas. Whether we need to eat them all or not, it's another story. Two. Three. So that's, that's the farm anyway, and I think this is... It's very, very similar to my my idea, except these blocks here are sensed by these sensors, and these sensors, t when it sees the block, it tells the thing above it to fire. So this sensor, when it sees the block and the farm is on, it tells the pump to, to chuck out a seed, and this will tell the cannon to, to water. Um, I had the sensors, if you remember, above this looking at blocks that are in the sky and the reason I did that is because I wanted individual blocks to represent each uh, farming plot uh, the idea being that you know you might have situations like this where there are two spaces that aren't yet um, don't currently have anything growing in them and I wanted to work out a system where you could actually set the farm off and it would plant those two plots and not you know attempt to plant everywhere or just ignore it because there's you know there, there's a block here for example but you know it's just too complicated and not really necessary if you're automating a farm like this then uh, uh, except for this problem I'm having here that the, this one that doesn't seem to, to plant uh, it's it's they're all going to grow roughly the same time except if you have fertilizer on one of them one of the plots but anyway so the next thing I'll do is I'll add on the front maybe I'll, I'll duplicate this system or I believe I won't need to duplicate it fully but to to harvest so what I can get it to do is once what I might have a sensor here which is looking at the plants and when they're fully grown it can turn the farm on and the farm will harvest and if there's seeds in here it will start planting them I might even add another 
sensor that senses if there's a plant been planted um, so that we don't waste water if there's no plant there so there's improvements I can make which I will I'll attempt to make um, well, we've got 16 minutes until the next raid so the next raid I expect to be a lot bigger because it's the second day uh, but hopefully these will all be harvested uh, later today they all should be fully grown later today so I won't get a third raid um, because I think that would be um, quite huge but I could be wrong because this surprised me how small this raid was I was expecting uh, quite a few uh, quite a few bots coming but and I, I'm expecting some to come you know across the sides so I haven't really thought about what to do there but another thing uh, thinking about this now while I'm talking about bots and defenses I'm thinking I need to get to a warehouse to get more of these blocks because I want to put I wonder if I can take a couple I basically want to put um, hmm, probably can't do it with those, those things there but what I'm thinking is that let's steal two from here and see if I can do it. Um, I'm not, not talking, but I should write that needs to come out more. Da, 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 da. I'm thinking of doing it like. Don't tell me, yeah, like this. So it's a much bigger um, ramp and then a bigger hole that they fall in. So I might even take this a bit further back. I mean, uh, the reason I'm thinking of that, that I was thinking that, is because I wanted there to be a, a deeper hole that they fall in. And my second thought was that the top bit of the wall could um, be, be on pistons and push forwards and squash them between these these two so as you might have noticed there was a couple of the little little tote bots that were quite happy standing on here and I think the reason that is is once a couple have died on here they're essentially standing on top of the, the body parts of their their colleagues and friends and like these are preventing them from sort of getting hit by the by the blades so they're able to stand there and, and smash the, the wall but if the wall pushed them I mean I could do that now and it would push them off back down the back off the ramp but then they just climb back here and would be in the same situation so I figured if it was something like this when the wall pushed them it would push them squash them here and they'd probably die that way um, but don't know if it's sort of a necessary addition it's just something I'm thinking of so I think we'll see how we go with the next few raids because there was only two that got stuck like that and I could easily shoot them without much effort and I don't need to be so lazy that I can't shoot a couple of bots once I've got this this wall up I'm going to build probably from the top of it along here I'll leave a gap where the farm is and build around and then I want to get some more ramps that will come down so I can drive vehicles up over the ramps into that that level that first floor and then the farm will be on this level and I might keep all the storage containers and this on the ground level and off the, on the top level just have my craft bots with pipes going down to the ground level so keep it tidy up the top but anyway we'll see you'll, 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 you'll see what I'm talking about when I um, come to do it but of course I welcome your suggestions if you've got any ideas if you, if you look at the base and think why the hell has he done that oh, surely if you do this it'll be better please leave a comment I'm, I'm very open to your suggestions because I'm not 
sold on any particular idea at the moment. I'm just doing making the best of what I've got. So thank you all for watching. Go and check out Font uh, if you haven't already. Um, just a quick note about him. He is a pretty smart, intelligent guy. Uh, and he's got some great tutorials on on like builds, like vehicles and all sorts, where he doesn't overcomplicate things. He's very good in that way. Like I tend to overthink and he keeps things simple. But I'm not saying what he makes is simple, but he does it in a simple simpler way than I could ever come up with. And it's neat and tidy. He's also writing his own mod pack for this game which has got some amazing features in it some that i'm very very keen to try out but i am waiting until i think until i'm bored of the vanilla game i'm still fairly new to it you know so i don't want to spoil my uh, spoil my enjoyment of the game that the vanilla game so when i am a bit bored of, of the vanilla game or you know, waiting for the Vanilla game to be updated, as you know, it's still in beta. I'll probably start a series with his his mods because they look pretty good and it give us a whole new a whole new dynamic. So um, that might be coming soon. Obviously, I can start it sooner if you're interested. If you want me to do that, leave a comment, and let me know, and if enough people want it, I'll do it sooner rather than later. But until then, I'm sticking with this. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much and take care. Mm -hmm.